magnetic resonance imaging is a non-invasive test which gives a substantial detailing in the world of medical imaging. The soft tissue structures are more accurately visualized. This is an overview of MRI scan. This is the table. This is the gantry. So this is the whole look of a MRI room. This is the MRI compatible stretcher that you can see. Over up there is a liquid helium entry exit point. For maintaining the superconductivity, the he liquid helium is used. The MRI uses the fact that the body has abundant amount of hydrogen protons and with the change in the magnetization, the behavior of the proton changes. Things to note for hydrogen atom, Z atomic number is equal to number of protons is equal to number of electrons. For hydrogen, atomic number is 1, number of protons is 1, atomic nucleus has only one proton, thus nucleus of hydrogen is a proton. Here we can see the hydrogen atoms that are aligned in different directions. When the magnetization field is applied, all the atoms of the hydrogen aligned with the magnetization field. Now, when the hydrogen atoms are aligned in one direction, an RF is applied to a section which is to be studied. According to electromagnetic theory, any nucleus such as hydrogen proton which possesses a magnetic moment attempts to align itself with the magnetic field in which it is placed. The result is in a precision or wobbling of the magnetic moment about the applied magnetic field with a resonance angular frequency called the Larmor frequency. Due to free induction decay, the proton then slows down. Two relaxation mechanisms are associated with excited nuclear spins. Relaxation time T1 is referred to as the spin lattice relaxation process and it characterizes the time for the perturbed nuclei to realign themselves with the existing elastic structure of the host material. This is also called as longitudinal relaxation. Relaxation time T2 is also called as spin spin relaxation as it indicates the time required for perturbed in phase spin to deface with respect to each other. This is also called as transverse relaxation process. After removal of RF energy, we get the T1 and after the magnetic field is removed, we get T2. Now, when the magnetic field is removed, the protons deface with each other. Now, with the transverse relaxation, we get the T2 signal. T1, T2 and PD weighted imaging. The contrast in the MR depends on the magnetic properties and the number of hydrogen nuclei in the area being imaged. Different contrast in the area can be imaged by selecting or running different sequences with different weights. Now let's see the three of them, T1 weighted, T2 weighted and proton density weighted. T1 relaxation is the recovery of the longitudinal magnetization. The time contrast T1 is the measure of the time it takes for the nuclei to reach 63% of its original longitudinal magnetization. T2 decay is the decay of transfer magnetization after application of 90 degree RF pulse. The T2 is the time taken by hydrogen nuclei to decay to 27% of its existing MXY. The hydrogen nuclei in different molecules have different T2s. Those with a shorter T2 will take a shorter time to decay than those with a longer T2. Now the proton density imaging. Proton density imaging does not display the magnetization characteristic of hydrogen nuclei but the number of nuclei in the area being imaged. 